First and foremost, I want to give all honours and praises and glory belongs to my Lord and Saviour whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahabashai, Bahasham, Wahabaka Kwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh and his son's name is Yahabashai, in who we reverence and honours to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that taught me this truth and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters that are listening and also learning across the globe in the hopes of being saved. And to Wadi Yahawah, to Wadi Yahawah by Shum, Yahweh Shai, for giving me another day to be able to what minister this word. Because not everybody has the means, has the spirit to do what I do. So I, I don't take that for granted. So without further ado, today we're going to teach you of Yahweh Shai because that's the main thing. We're going to teach you about prophecy, but we're going to teach you about Yahweh Shai. We're going to build up your faith because in the time right now, the scripture said, men would lose their faith, men would fall by the wayside. Okay, so what? We've got to maintain this faith. But I want to start off on Isaiah. This is Isaiah 62. And let's start at 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls. So who are the watchmen? The watchmen are the prophets. All right, of the cities. They're watching. And they're also at the gates. Okay. So I've set up watchmen upon thy walls. O Jerusalem, it shall never hold their peace, day nor night. So it says never hold their peace. So in other words, we're never going to be quiet. We're going to keep speaking this word as, as, as long as you have a shout out to speak. Okay? Just like when you hear them silence. That's how we have to be. Okay? Our mouths are that siren. Our mouths are giving you that warning. Right? And it says we shall never hold their peace day nor night. So we're not supposed to keep quiet. Okay, you've got other men saying, shut up, don't say that. No, the scripture says that shall never hold their peace day nor night. So we're supposed to be speaking this word without fail, continuously, night and day. Right? Ye that make mention of the Lord, so who are we mentioning? We're not mentioning ourselves, we're mentioning Yahweh Shai. Ye that make mention of Yahweh Shai. And what's Yahweh Shai? The testimony, the witness. And not all of our people have the witness of Yahweh Shai. There's only a few of our people that truly have the witness of Yahweh Shai, that have his testimony. So, if you don't have, excuse me, if you don't have Yahweh's testimony, if you don't have his witness, you're not going to be tested. Men will say, yeah, yeah, the, the prophecy, the testimony of Yahweh. So you're supposed to be going into the testimony of Yahweh. You can't say you have the testimony, you have prophecy, but you're not teaching Yahweh, right? It doesn't say the testimony of himself, of Selakia, of yourself. It's the testimony of Yahweh Shai. His words. Okay. We shall never hold their peace day or night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, Yahweh Shai. Keep not silent. So we're not supposed to be silent about the things that are happening. We're not supposed to be silent when it's pertaining to prophecy when it's pertaining to the gospel, right? Keep not silent. 
and give him no rest. So give him no rest, that means you're continually begging, praying, besieging, requesting, teaching, all these different things, fasting. That's you giving your Habashai no rest. These are the actions that come with it. What? How do you know if someone's giving your Habashai rest? When they're going days and days and days on end without teaching the word. To he establish and make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. So that's what we want. We want to be a praise in this earth. So what are we going to do? We got to teach this word. Okay. To have made a praise, to he establishes you. And Israel is going to be what? Made a praise within the earth. Within what? That kingdom. Okay. This is what the hopeful elect were here to do. This is what they're created to do. The elect were not here to serve their woman. The elect were not here to serve the world. The elect were here to serve Yahabashai. To the best of our ability. Right? And we're going to go into the science. What to look out for? Let's go to Matthews. Baba Kasha. Matthew 24. This is Matthew 24. Right? Matthew 24. And... Thirdly, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And who's that Yahabashai? Okay. And that's what we're looking for. The sign. Okay. Of his return. But you know all, all of the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven. With power and great glory. See, I will show them clouds of heaven represent the chariots. That's what Yahweh is coming in. That's what he's going to make his returning. Okay? Some people, the unbelievers, call them UFOs. Esau calls them UFOs. A lot of people think this is a game. Okay? I don't want to put this out there. It's beautiful seeing chariots. Nothing is wrong with that. That's beautiful. But if you still don't have faith, when these things are shown to you, we know there's different levels of faith. But if you can't believe when you've seen that, then you're never going to believe. Does it take multiple signs for you to believe? Really, it should take one or two and that should be it. So if you need to see these things to say, Bracket to Yahweh, Bracket to Yahweh Shai, which is beautiful, you praise Him. But if that's the only time you're praising Yahweh Shai, that means you don't have faith. And that was that same unbelieving generation that just came for the fishes. Okay? They just came to get fed. They just came for the carnal. So it's, it's really being seen. Everybody's being seen for who they are. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with seeing chariots. Nothing's wrong with that. And you praise the Abishai for that. But if, it, if that's the only thing that's, that leads you to Yahabashai, to praise him, then after that you go back to your old ways being up, then that means you don't have faith. Okay? What about not seeing the sign and still believing? That's more great. Bless are those, bless are those that have not seen, yet they still believe. Right? The level of unbelief in this world is high. And he shall send his angels. So, Yahweh, that's what he's coming to do. Send his holy angels upon earth. Right? And they've got all different names. You've got Raphael, you've got Gabriel, okay, you've got Michael, Maka Allah. 
and even many more that we don't even know the names of. Yahusha is going to what? Send that angel. Okay? Send his angels. With a great sound of a trumpet. So that sound of a trumpet is going to be blown by the angels. Which is what? A warning. Right? And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds of the end of heaven to the other because our people are scattered from one part of the earth to another okay because you've got to think that's what Israelite foreigners okay you've got people that are scattered dispersed right and a lot, a lot of our people they don't even believe that you got an all black doctrine out here, which is a fable. Okay? Our people are scattered throughout what? All these other nations. Right? Dispersed. That's what this forum means. Dispersed. Right? So bear me just a minute. Go to Jeremiah. No, before we go that, let's go to 32. Now learn a parable of the fig tree. Okay? A parable's a saying, a riddle, explaining something in a metaphoric sense. Because not all of, not all of our people are going to get this word. Okay? When his branch is yet tender. Tender means what? Soft and put it forth leaves so it starts what blooming you know that summer is live and we've just passed summer coming into autumn going into winter okay and that's how you know summer is nine when things start budding flourishing right you know that the summer is nine so likewise you and you shall see all these things coming what things the prophecies the wars the tensions between different nations Volcanoes, blood moons, okay, uproars. That's how you would know the end is near, right? That's how we would know. Because not everyone would know, it's only be a certain remnant that would know, okay? So, likewise, ye, when you shall see all these things. No, but it is near even at the doors. So when we see these things happening, we know it's near. Okay? We don't have the mindset of, well, you know, maybe we've got another two, three, four years. No. Nope. Just looking at how things are speeding up, we know we don't have long. Okay? Verily I say unto you, this generation, all right, shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. So we know this is the same generation that was back 2,000 years ago, right? Until all these things be fulfilled. What things? The prophecies, right? So now this generation ain't going anywhere. This generation is back here again today to be judged, right? Just quickly go to Ecclesiastes, right? to Ecclesiastes. Alright? Let's see if I can find it. So we have fun doing this. This ain't a joke. It's fun. This is our comfort. Right? The other people they're not comforted. This is this is this word is supposed to be a comfort. Ecclesiastes 1 and 2, 4, one generation passeth away, right? So you got one that lives, one that dies, because everybody gets old, right? And another generation cometh, another one's born, but the earth abideth forever. So I've got news for you, this earth is not going anywhere. 
this earth is staying put but particular destinations particular locations are going to be wiped off the map let's go to second peter's 3 and 10 okay particular locations of this earth are going to be hit wiped off okay moscow is going to be one of them new york's going to be one of them chicago is going to be one of them london's going to be one of them Paris is going to be one of them. Madrid is going to be one of them. It's going to be many locations wiped out. Through what? Via World War III. Let's go to Second Peter. Bear me just a minute. Go straight to Second Peter. This is 2 Peter 3. And we're going to go straight to 7. But the heavens and earth, which are now, this present moment, this present time, which are now, the times we're living in now. By the same words, by this word, because first it's spoken, then it plays out. Right? are kept, okay, in store. So you're keeping this up in store, you're reserving it. For this rulership, it's been kept in store. In store for what? Judgment, right? Reserved unto fire against a day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. Right? So there's a judgment that has been what? Set. There's a judgment that's been set for the world. Okay? Even the screw had to come in and, you know, even the screws are listening. There's a judgment that is set for the world. Okay? I, lately, when I've been out here, I haven't seen no rats at all. I don't know what men are talking about. This is out city. The scriptures tell you to be in the lanes and the byways. But that's what happens when you're bugged out. That's what, what happens when you don't listen to your Shai. You start making excuses of why not to do the work. You're scared of rats. How is you're scared of rats? You better pre prepare yourself for the Lord's coming. Men are in a messed up mind. Okay? That's why the scripture says, follow not a multitude to do evil. You follow your Shai. If you have a shine told you something and it's in the scriptures, you follow it. Because men, they can go off. Men, they can have a reprobate mind. The same men calling other men bug outs, they're the bug outs. Ermin and Arin. Okay? The Lord can do that. Okay? Send you your own delusions. Okay? But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing. So to be ignorant, it means not to know, okay, of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, a thousand years, just one day, so it would be but yesterday, okay, a thousand years would just be at but yesterday to your harvest shine. As a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. So Yahweh Shai is not slowing down anything. Okay. As some men count slackness. So a lot of people they're counting this thing of slackness. It's not happening in their time. And the scriptures do say, Woe unto you that have lost patience. What you shall do, what, what shall you do when Yahweh Shai comes to visit you? So a lot of people they're losing patience. They don't want to wait. As some men count slackness. So it's not, it's not happening fast enough for them in their time. They got plans. 
you got men that have plans that if it don't happen in this time, they're gonna go back into the world. They got they got a, a torn alternative plan for the future. You got men that think like that. If this don't happen in two years, three years, we're gonna do this. Because they don't believe. This is all about your faith towards Yahweh Shai. That's because you're obviously not watching. And Yahweh has obviously not blessed you with the gift of faith. This is not personal. Yahweh Shai has blessed certain men upon the earth with faith and others with no faith. And some that had faith, but Yahweh Shai obviously he took it away from them because they, they weren't working on it. So when you have faith, you work upon it. So your faith can be what? Strengthened. Right? Not willing that, but the Lord is long suffering to us with. So Yamsha is very, very, very long suffering. Merciful. That's why we have them traits as well. Okay? Not willing that any should perish. We would rather that our people would wake up. But we know in these times we're living in, not all our people are going to wake up. So they're going to have to be destroyed. Not willing that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. Right? But the day of the Lord Jehovah will come as a thief in the night. In other words, unexpectedly. Without warning. And this is the warning now. So we're given so nobody can say, well we never heard. I wasn't warned because we were warning you. Right? We were warning you of what was about to happen. Okay? in which the heavens shall pass away. So the heavens represents rulership. That's what's going to be passing away. This current dominion, okay? This current system, that's what's going to pass away. With a great noise and them great noise, are them ICBMs. I think that noise is going to be heard all across the earth. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The elements is the things around you. The things you're seeing right now, they're going to melt with fervent heat. Fervent is intense. And that's going to be that fervent heat in that World War III. Anything that's in this proximity can burn up. With a great noise and the element shall melt with fervent heat. Fervent is intense heat. So all the elements are going to be burned up. And it's just particular parts of the earth. And America's going to be the first destination to be here. Alright? And there's going to be other places that are going to be safe. But America is going to be the main destination that's hit with their missiles. And the works and all their men shall be burned up. Right? Verse 11, seeing that all these things shall be dissolved. So dissolve means to evaporate. So the fire, what's it going to do? Evaporate everything that is in its proximity. And you've got a picture of this as well. What manner of person? Then just a minute. Seeing that all these things shall be dissolved, evaporate. What manner of person ought you to be in all holy conversation? And godliness. So I'm seeing men don't really have the fear. I'm seeing that. And I haven't been in this truth for a very long time. This is what, seeing that these things shall be dissolved. So, you know in this place is going to be burnt up. People are going to be burnt up. 
What spirit would you be in? Would you be joking? Would you be coming to camp joking about? Playing about? What manner? So what's your mind going to be towards your other shay? What's your conduct going to be towards your other shay? You're going to be seeking to be on his good side. You ain't going to be playing mucking about with his truth. These are men that have not been given the, what, the gift of faith. Fair. Because if you, if you have faith, you're going to be given a certain amount of fair. It's going to keep you going. It's going to cause you to be what? Serious about this truth. You ain't going to be playing about with this. And if you're a leader, if you're a leader and you've got men next to you joking about, then what, what, what spirit are you in? Verse 12, looking for a hastening unto the coming of the day of Yahweh Shem, Yahweh Shai. So we're looking and we're hastening that day of Yahweh Yahweh Shai. We're looking, we're observing, we're watching. Whether in the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, Esau's rulership shall be dissolved. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth. So that's what we're waiting for. We're waiting for that new earth. And that fire is going to cause a new earth. That fire is going to cause a new structure. Just like when you have a volcano. A volcano, have you seen when it erupts? It what causes new land, new structure. Okay? And the new earth. So the earth's going to be replenished all over again. Right? Where in dwelleth, right? And that's exactly what we're waiting for. Bear me just a minute. Go to Isaiah. That's exactly what we're waiting for. Right? Go to Isaiah. Isaiah 65, 17. Right? For behold, I create a new heavens. So it says a new heavens. So the earth's going to be replenished through righteousness. Okay? The earth is going to be renewed. Okay? And a new earth. Right? Does that mean the whole earth needs to be completely re- No. A new earth, because there's still going to be particular regions that are still inhabitable. There's going to be a load of regions that have not been hit by the missiles. The new earth is what? New rulership. And new lands. And the former shall not be remembered. So the former is now. The former is now. We're, in, we're living in the present now, but this present is going to be seen as the former, what, in the kingdom? Right? Nor come into mind, but be glad and rejoice forever. So this is supposed to give us joy. Okay? Great joy. For I, it's like a forever in that which I create. For behold, create a Jerusalem, a rejoicing and her people, a joy. And you go into that word create is bara, bara in the Hebrew. Okay, to create, bara. Right? Verse 19, I rejoice in Jerusalem 
Andre and my people and the voice of weeping shall no more be heard in her, nor the voice of crying. Because all of our people, they're going to be in eternal what? Bliss. Complete joy. Okay? They're not going to be in anguish, they're going to be in complete joy. They're not going to have nothing to be upset about. Because they're not going to be going off. They're not going to be sinning. That's what the elect have. Okay? The two thirds, they're going to be in shame for a particular amount of time. But the elect, they're going to have what an everlasting joy. And even after that, the two thirds are going to be what have that joy. But a thousand years, no. Okay? Go to Revelation 21. So you got you have to be excited about this truth. Revelations. I believe it's 21. Revelation 21. Okay? And it says, and I saw a new heaven. So this is what we're seeing. A complete new heaven. Complete new dominion. Complete, renovished earth, a new setting, okay, and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. How was it passed away? Through that nuclear destruction, that's how it was passed away. were passed away and there was no more sea that was what the old world okay I John saw the holy city so what's that holy city? Christians think that's a city in the heavens which that's not impossible for Yahushua to do that to create a city within the heavens because Yahushua did say in my father's house and many mansions but this heaven it's going to tell you what it is okay I don't saw the holy city New Jerusalem coming down from the most high out of heaven so that holy city is a tabernacle it's men coming down from heaven right so that would be what the elect it tells you in Thessalonians what, 4 and 18? The dead in Mashiach shall rise first. So those were the dead in Mashiach. And also those that were what? Beamed up. And what? Were changed. Alright. The dead in Mashiach shall rise first. Coming down from out of heaven, the spiritual realm, okay, prepared as a bride or don't for her husband, dressed up, prepared as a bride or dawn. Okay, and it talks about the saints that were dressed in white, prepared for what? The marriage of the Lamb. And that's what we're here to do, to, to bid you to the marriage, preparing you. Okay, getting you ready. Bear me just a minute. That's what we're doing, getting you ready, preparing you, okay, for that marriage. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, behold the tabernacle, right, dwelling of the most high is with men and he will dwell with them and they shall be his people. No, no, the, the Lord, he has a people. They are his people. What does it mean they shall be his people? We're going to be able to be in the presence of the Heavenly Father. Not just the outside the Heavenly Father. Right now, we can't remain in his presence. Because what? This flesh. We're incorruptible flesh. Right? 
and the Most High Himself shall be with them and be their power. So we're going to be dwelling with the Most High, dwelling with Him before His presence. And the Most High shall wipe away all tears. So all the tears you have, all the trouble, all that's going to be wiped away. Okay? All of it. You're not going to have the worries of the world, the cares of this world. All that's going to be done away with. You're not going to have to clock in 9 to 5. You're not going to have to worry about your woman cheating on you. Whether she's cheating on you when you're going to work. You're not going to have to worry. You're not going to have to raise up your children. And they're going to be flamers. Transgenders. You're not going to have to worry. You're not going to have to worry about that. You're not going to have to worry about your brothers scheming on you. Flirting on you. You're not going to have to worry about that. Alright. And there shall be no more death. So in the kingdom, there ain't going to be no more death. For who? For the children of Israel. But if it's going to be death, obviously, because we're going to have judgments. We're going to have laws. And if the other nations don't keep the laws, what's going to happen? They're going to be what? Chastised, persecuted, and even put to death. But regarding on the basis of what they've done. Right? So there is going to be death in the kingdom, but not for the children of Israel. Right now we suffer death on this side. Because of what the sin, that's the punishment. What is sin? Transgression of the law. And what does sin bring, bring forth? Death. Right? But there ain't going to be none of that in the kingdom. Why? Because we're going to be perfected. Okay? It's only the other see, it's only the other nations that are gonna experience what we're experiencing. The children of Israel. Okay. And there shall be no more pain. No crying, no pain. So you're not even gonna feel pain in the kingdom. You're not gonna feel no pain at all. Right? No back pain, no leg pain, no mental pain. For the former things are passed away. So what are the former things? The former things are now what you see now. All that's going to be passed away. When you're in the kingdom, it's going to be like, man, do you remember? We were, that, was, that was madness. You remember our oppressor? Remember what we were going through? This, this is all like one dream that you want to wake up out of. That's what it's like. Or some are liking it unto a nightmare. Okay. You remember that individual Esau? He was raising up taxes. Okay, he was doing blood sacrifices. He was oppressing us. Okay. He didn't want us to rise up. That's what it's going to be like in the kingdom. See, what you see now is nothing. This. If you call this a kingdom, well, it's a kingdom, but it's a wicked kingdom that's going to be destroyed. Okay? Verse 5, and he that sat upon the throne said, who's that that sat upon the throne? Okay? Yahweh, there's two sitting up on the throne, Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai. And he that sat upon the throne, right, said, behold, I make all things new. So all things are going to be made new. Everything. Including ourselves. Because we need to even be renewed. Okay? I make all things new. Right? Bear me just a minute. And he said unto me, right, for these things are what? Are true and faithful. So, 
you can never throw. When you trust in Yahweh Shai, you can never throw. Because the scripture says these words are true and faithful. So knowing that these words are true and faithful, who do you want to put who do you want to put your trust in? You want to put your trust in Yahweh Shai. Knowing these words are true and faithful. And who's the word? The word is Yahweh Shai. Knowing Yahweh Shai is true and faithful. And he said unto me, it is done. Okay, and it was done when Yahweh Shai came on the scene. And then again it was done when Yahweh Shai was crucified. That's when it was truly done. And the books were what opened up. Right? And he said unto me, it is done, I am the Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the ending. Beginning with Adam, finishing with Yahweh Shai. The Alpha and Omega. Right? The beginning and the end. And the scriptures do say he is the author and finisher of our faith. And the scriptures do say as well, better is the what? The end of a thing than the beginning. Right? And I will give unto him that is the first of the fountain of water of life freely right and what's that the word and the elect have been given this word freely the scripture says freely you've received freely give a lot of men they've they've been given okay they've, they've received but they're not given okay they're not given all right Bear me just a minute. Let's go to verse 7. Right? He that overcometh shall inherit all things. Everything. Right? He that overcometh. Okay? Shall inherit all things. Everything. The kingdom. And I will be his power. And he shall be my son. But the fearful and the unbelieving and the abominable. So those that are fearful, so yeah, that's class as a sin. You're fearful and the unbelieving. You being fearful causes you to be unbelieving. That's why you've got demonic men that are set up to push that spirit upon you. Okay, the unbelieving spirit. Okay. And abominable. Okay. The homosexuals, the flamers, transvestites, they're abominable. And abominable is you what? Teaching different doctrines. That's abominable as well. Okay. And murderers. Okay. And harmongers. And sorcerers and idolaters, right? You're into idolatry, okay? Coming to this place, coming to that place. You know, I want to visit this place. I want to, I want to look at the beauty of it. That's idolatry as well. Okay, you worshiping somebody else. That's idolatry as well, which we worship Yahweh. 